Welcome and welcome back my dear tarot pals to another pick a card reading. Honestly, I've not thought about what the topic is going to be today except for the fact that I really want to look at um what would really help you right now. So what I thought of giving this as the title and hopefully by the time we're done recording I would have better clarity as to what did we all cover around this is basically everything you need to know for the next 100 days, okay? So it's a 100 days timeless pick a card reading that i'm trying to get we're going to look at where you are energetically what spirit wants to tell you what can you expect in your career money finances what's going on in your personal life i'm keeping it very open to kind of tell us what is the energy of the next 100 days for if you've just found me through an algorithm search i welcome you to my tarot pal community do consider hitting that subscribe button if this is the second video that you're watching for me I wish you guys a wonderful diwali if you're watching it when i've just posted it otherwise it's is a timeless reading so take what resonates leave the rest i'm going to give you guys three object options here as you guys can see then i'm going to use uh, the shadow healing deck and you're going to pick up an emotion which you perhaps feel closest to that you're doing a shadow work around okay um i feel like something in this reading is going to bring us to talk about um our negative emotions as well as our positive emotions and the shadow work and the inner work we're doing so i'm going to take out some cards from this one first let me just show you that the option number 1 op object number 1 for you guys is these leaves okay i use these things for diwali decor and i felt called to like let's reuse them in this video so that's a shock leaves for those of you who know this is a marigold okay and then we have I forgot the name of the flower. I think it's a carnation. Yeah, it's a white carnation. Okay, those are your three objects. And now I'm going to ask spirit to give us three different emotions. That's what these cards typically have in them. So, and very interestingly, there are different colors of this. So we can also go by the color of what you like. Okay, of course you may feel drawn to more than one pile. Take what resonates. Go with more than one. Trust your intuition, and hopefully you will find a message that really helps you. So for pile number one, I want to go with. Okay, somehow this one, the green with the green. Okay, let's just keep this here before we do the reveal. Now I want to go with pile number two. Wow, somehow I'm stopping at the orange with the orange. Let's do this. Okay, and for option number three. Okay, option number three. Wow, <laughs> we actually have a white and a black, so we'll go with the white and black. Okay, so we have three different cards here. Now let me see what emotion. Okay, discontentment. Something doesn't feel right, but identifying what's missing eludes you. Re-examine the situation from a distance, and missing pieces will become obvious. So, discontentment is for option number one. Just give me a second. I think the lighting will make a difference. Okay. Now, for option number two, we have paralyzed. Not being able to move forward can overwhelm and create a sense of fear. but standing still can be just as frightening at least moving forward can create change so paralyzed if that's an emotion that you resonating with or discontentment and then the third one is reject dismissing opinions too quickly can lead to neglecting info important information by taking time the truth will become apparent and you will view the situation in a different light so reject paralyzed discontentment i know pretty unique things to ask you to pick from but go with what you need and i will see you in your individual piles hello and welcome my beloved pile ones those of you who picked discontentment i have picked this one as well i know some of you like to know my pile selections if you're not following me on instagram do consider the link clicking on the link below and following me there i'm more consistent there there's more content there um and there's content of course that doesn't come up here so if you like tarot and if you like tarot pal do consider following me on instagram as well there's also the email address given below there is a discount coming up for my personal readings which i will again announce on instagram so again head to instagram for those quick updates by the way on that note let's see what messages come up for you let's make more space shall we okay i think that's good enough first i want to start off today with these oracle decks and the name i always forget okay believe in your own magic and if you see some of these cards torn and tattered i have cats and dogs at home and that's what it is about all right so the first card's out which is which justice is coming the number 27 i'm recording this in the month of october and it is the season of uh, libra and scorpio um 
some of you may have these strong zodiac placements libra or scorpio in your birth chart justice is the card in the tarot which is linked to also um libra which and witchcraft and you know that halloween vibe and that halloween season and that scorpio vibe is definitely coming in let me first place all the cards and then we will go ahead and start talking i want to take some more cards from this one what do we need to know for the next 100 days spirit what do we need to know i tapped into that swords energy as well here wow there's a lot of messages coming for you guys huh? i mean i i don't know which one to focus on wow look at the number of swords here we talked about swords dragons slay them all the number 6 and we have witch and there's a sword there so there's something to do with truth swords represent truth Tr swords are also linked with archangel michael so you also being pushed to connect to archangel michael so i'm watching house of dragons let me know in comment section below if you are as well and this card just suddenly made me think of house of dragons and reneria and her journey uh, if that has a very specific message for you by the way okay um hold on i think i can place this here this space here okay cool then we have bitch fire with the number 16 which is stand up for yourself there's something to do with fighting justice standing up for yourself slaying dragons uh huh okay and i feel like i want to take one more card from this deck what do we need to know for the next 100 days what can we expect next 100 days thank you spirit next 100 okay it seems like this one wants to come out potion okay look at that amount of scorpion witchcraft energy basic witch the word witch is now channeled twice the number 6 has come out twice 24th of the next month whichever month you're watching this would be a very relevant date i'm also focusing on the mirrors here um i have done a reading specifically last reading i think i spoke about mirror work um so i suggest you go watch that if you're drawn to this pile okay um let's bring them closer a little bit and let's start talking okay first thing that i definitely want to talk about uh, for this pile is 6 7 6 and 9 okay 3 6 9 spirituality the theme of spirituality connecting with the energy of autumn uh, autumn leaves autumn colors um giving yourself that cozy comfort in the next 100 days if you've been overworking yourself uh, please don't get into that burnout zone that you need to do it all that uh, some of your dragons could literally be just overworking and not knowing when to say no not knowing when to say like i can't do this anymore this is not a purview of my responsibilities and walking away from it in the next 100 days the inner work or the shadow work that you definitely need to do okay i love that how you were actually picked discontentment right something doesn't feel right you're missing out on something um if something doesn't feel right take a step back if even if you don't want to go all aggressive which is what we'll come to in the bitch fire card make sure in the next 100 days you're taking out time to think through is this really my problem is this really my monkey is this something i really want to get involved and engaged into uh, something i'm often guilty of i can get pulled into uh things which are not supposed to be like my problem um and you're being asked to kind of remember that okay with the witch card coming out twice i strongly want to tell you guys for the next 100 days focus on your manifestation powers focus on psychic abilities try to learn more about them i've been for example and some of you know this through other tarot pal channels again instagram i am learning reiki and uh, i'm really enjoying the journey of learning reiki it's it's i've done different kinds of energy work throughout life and I've, i'm i'm very curious about reiki so there could be something that you pick up in the next 100 days which helps you heal which helps others heal which bring you more closer to nature some of you may be actually thinking of you know you've literally picked green plants and look at that green plant that's calling to us here getting more connected to nature spending more time on your own self uh, those are the kind of energies which are very strongly present for you guys i'm also drawn to the color green and pink so maybe you want to increase those two color and both of those colors are linked to heart chakra Okay, for some of you, I literally see like you're also calling in a girlfriend, not the girlfriend like if you're a boy watching this and a girlfriend like like somebody who's a very close friend of yours. You guys spend a lot of time together. Maybe you guys travel together. Maybe you guys there's something which you guys should do as a manifestation technique together, and I think it will work really well for you. Speak up where you're not feeling comfortable in the next hundred days. I think for some people, you're going to shock them with the amount of clarity you're going to come up. and demand the kind of things that you demand okay some of you may actually ask for money look at that that's again green smoke coming out there's a theme of green in your reading we have those green plants again herbalism eating well those are also some messages i'm channeling and for some reason this pile i feel very rushed 
okay which is why i'm trying to bring it down to like you may have tremendously great ideas in the next 100 days pile one make sure that you're penning it swords also talk about our mind working really fast our mind cutting through something having those uh, honest clear conversations and i see like you're going to speak your mind and kudos to that you are going to be having that opportunity as well to speak your mind all i want to say is make sure you're coming from a space of heart make sure you're coming from a space of healing and a lot of these dots are going to join for you in the next 100 days i will come back to these cards i want to now move towards your tarot because if you guys know tarot pals and if you guys know me tarot is my favorite i've gone with the witch deck i'm definitely getting into that halloween zone now so this is everyday witch and i want to see see those broken cards i think there's only one broken card in this which is the hermit and um okay and that sound is my dog so just give me a second okay we're back so what can we expect in the next 100 days what can we expect some of you who are planning to start a spiritual business please go ahead um i think you will gain a lot of momentum in the next 100 days if you already have a spiritual business what can we expect we're only taking uprights today by the way what can we expect in the next 100 days let's see we do have the hermit card that's fallen out for you i don't know why i was very sure it would for this pile uh the energy of virgo is represented in this deck we again have that green forest energy if you can possibly travel to a place which has greenery and forest and all of that would be really really good for you guys okay and don't worry if that light falls on it when we talk about it we i do pull up the cards okay we have the world travel is now strongly coming up for you guys pile number 1 i somehow keeps wanting to say pile number 3 so some of you may have been drawn to 1 and 3 and if you were uh, listen to your intuition i don't know why i'm drawn to that cat as well and 21 look if you have already two major arcana so the next 100 days are significant for you guys wow we have the 9 of cups who's loving it that they've picked this pile now i have it's one of my favorite decks cards in the deck you're fulfilled emotionally in the next 100 days you're finding a lot of joy within we have the devil look at the number of major arcanas for this pile we have the devil card number 15 the hermit and the devil we do have capricorn virgo the four fixed signs which is leo taurus um, aquarius and scorpio we do have that strong scorpio energy here as well some energetic messages okay now if in the 100 days these are the months that are approaching or the seasons that's approaching that could be your timeline guidance uh for some of you this could also mean that uh, these are the significant people in your life uh who could be playing up or your own zodiac birth chart check your zodiac birth charts whenever you get these tarot readings zodiac signs and see what these houses are what these signs rule out wow look at that another major arcana with number 6 we have 666 6 is the number of venus guys any of you who are planning a business or launching a business uh, go head on when it comes to specially networking and meeting different people uh, there's a energy here of connecting to different kinds of people different kinds of culture um and you getting a lot of breakthrough there we of course have lovers to the 9 of cups which uh, clearly talks about if you're trying to manifest a specific person and you're fighting with a lot of resilience you've not quit on a relationship this relationship will work out for you if you've been hard working see devil is not always a negative energy it depends on how it's been played at right so somewhere bitch fire gives me that feeling that you've been fighting against something you've been speaking your mind you're not allowing the Uh, devil or the toxicity to overcome it now in another message if you do have an obsessive behavior towards anything could be work could be eating could be you know we all know where we we kind of go in the overboard or in the excess uh, then that's your message that be mindful that you know your spirit is trying to really fight this support it with actions okay support it with actions i want to take one more card what can we expect in the next 100 days thank you spirit there's clearly a wish definitely getting fulfilled and especially if your wish is related to a travel a place you've really wanted to go to for a while oh my god you can't make this up look at that we have the emperor which is again another major arcana we do have three very strong in fact four very strong masculine energy cards here and we have that feminine energy showing up very clearly here for you fifth page of pentacles money is on the rise for this pile in the next 100 days so now let's kind of bring this together because i know i'm giving you guys random messages right now so kind of trying to draw it on in i'm a clear sentient and a clear audience those of you who don't know so it's sometimes very difficult for me to like i don't want to miss out on a message because i was trying to like park it for later so i blurt it out at that time so that 
whoever it is for you can hear it let's talk about zodiacs first we have capricorn we have virgo we have aries we have the gemini um we have already covered the four fixed signs aquarius taurus leo and scorpio so clearly there's a strong determination that you're tapped into in the next 100 days that's number one professionally you would be meeting strong leaders you can get a break from the government uh, if you are somebody who's trying to get a breakthrough a plan cleared um, you will get the right wisdom emperor and the um, uh, hermit coming together sometimes also talks about consulting with somebody who has the right knowledge about something okay consulting with somebody who's loyal for you i love that dog's energy here with the emperor instead of cats in most of the deck which does talk about loyalty um, and aries could also be fighting for you or with you okay a specific person this comes out as a specific person or this could be a father figure this could be a boss this could be a male or a female boss emperor does not always have to be male remember that in fact i've mostly seen the emperor energy play out within a female who's extremely strong in her masculine energy who's very clear headed and they do have that bitch fire for you which means you're standing up either against an emperor or an emperor stands up for you and helps you achieve this goal or this dream or this desire okay we did cover the fact that you do get travel opportunities and i strongly feel like in the next 100 days you may be planning a trip to some place which is very unique in its culture okay which is very unique or different or um very different from where you belong to okay that's that's clearly a message coming in for the next 100 days also a very important message do not get in for short term investment plans quick successes of money uh, let me put in this you know i'm just using the example of crypto like i'm not a financial expert use the kind of uh, resonance that you need but basically anything that makes you feel like you know uh, it's going to be a quick and easy win try the tried and tested road make plans and stick to plans another important message for your health stick to the diet that you know works for you for your health specifically this is not a time to experiment in the next 100 days in fact rather focus on that will power focus on why you self sabotage yourself out of certain you know those guilty pleasures here and there it's great but if you're constantly falling off the wagon because of that inner demon keeping you stuck to something you will have the choice you will have a decision to walk out of it and fight for something that you genuinely believe in and something will come to a successful closure for you if you're currently working on a project uh, especially for if you're an artist or a freelancer who's working on a project it will not only bring you a lot of success but it will also bring you a tons and tons of emotional fulfillment by the time it's completed okay i will strongly resonate with the cancer energy with the nine of cups some of you could literally be finding joy in your romantic relationships you're feeling very nurtured you're feeling very together you feeling like there's a bond there's a spiritual connection between the two of you and together you could be creating something some of you may be entering a business with a business partner you know with a partner or something some of you could be traveling with your partner and some of you may find a partner while you're traveling okay i've kind of covered a lot of scenarios here because it is a general reading of course different things will resonate for you guys differently if you're a writer or you're somebody who thinks that can you know even remotely write please take the pen to the paper please use any platform and write because your thoughts are going to be supremely tapped on and you can use your you know ability to articulate it and gain some really good success okay next 100 days will clearly demand a lot of discipline from you that's it if you don't allow yourself to fall off the wagon things will work out beautifully for you pile number 1 and there is a soul tribe coming there is wishes getting fulfilled there is travel happening there's something that you've perhaps fought for or people fighting for you and fighting with you and believing in you and in your abilities the only thing you would be stupid to do and i'm sorry i just say it as it is is like not believe in yourself or not allow yourself to go after the things that you want or quit too soon because you thought like never mind it's just never going to work okay be careful with your words though they can cut in the wrong sense i'm not saying don't speak your mind please go ahead and speak your mind that's what the deck is talking all about but make sure these are thought through words you know what you really want to say and what you want to achieve instead of like perhaps going you know sometimes you go hitting below the belt when it's not required be mindful of that part of it okay uh 
Like I said, friendships are very strongly indicated for this pile and so is support from leadership. Some of you may actually get promoted uh, or gain some sort of a financial standing with the emperor and the world showing up. Your social status rises. The world sees you in a more different way. Some of you could, I'm again repeating, work with your manifestation powers, guys. This is not a time to sit on your bed and do nothing about it. Literally, like don't use the new moon in Scorpio if you're watching this while I post it. But the next new moon, plant some seeds of intention and in order for you to believe in your own manifestation abilities i will tell you don't go all crazy in your manifestation like i want 50 billion dollars or something ask for something which i'm not saying you can't get 50 billion dollars ask for something that gives you confidence in your own manifesting abilities okay uh, making home cook food would be something that you will pick up in the next 100 days if you're somebody who typically likes to eat out a lot you'd focus on uh, eating home cooked food for sure Okay, let us get you some Moonology cards for additional guidance. If you do get an opportunity to travel pile once, just don't say no. Uh, because a lot of wisdom, a lot of emotional contentment, a lot of healing will come your way. Some of you will literally learn something new about a witchcraft technique while you're on the travel. If you are somebody who's actively practicing this. Um, also be mindful of oversharing your financial plans, okay? So let the financial plans go through in the next 100 days, then go out and blurt it out to other people, okay? Let us get you some moonology decks here. Look at the number of major arcanas though. I'm still tripping over that fact. I mean, seriously, like, what, four and three, seven cards here, and out of them, like, most of them rather, only two minor arcanas, okay? Also another thing I missed, hey, look at the number of nines, nine, nine, nines. Your spiritual journey, I literally skipped that and then spirit was like, hey, you're missing it. Nine, nine, nine of cups, nine of wands and the hermit, which does talk about spending time on your own development of spiritual connection. You're going to learn, like I said, I'm learning Reiki, which is an alternative medicine, um, you know, alternative healing technique. Um, some of you may actually get into chanting. Some of you may literally change your entire religion. Now, this will vary people to people, but you are clearly focused on understanding your connection with the divine. Why are you here? Asking those existential questions. Some of you may be in your personal year number nine. Again, follow me on Instagram if you don't know what that is. It's basically just... Uh, you know, you, there are different personal years in numerology. I don't want to get into that zone. You can Google it and you can know what personal number year nine is. Nines talk about spirituality, completion, ending something. So you, this year you could literally be completing a cycle also with a toxic partner, which you've been fighting a lot to get over. This could be like literally you've been shopaholic for a really long time or you derive your joy from things which are dependent on other people and you literally stand up for yourself and you fight for your own self and you integrate a part of your shadow which kind of self-sabotages you. But clearly the next 100 days, spirituality is a key theme for you guys, okay? Um, and focusing on spirituality consciously will also bring you a lot of clarity and abundance in life, okay? Let's get you some Moonology deck to wrap this up. I literally want to want you to ask you to leave me your favorite witch emoji uh, because this is like my Halloween pie. Leave me a pumpkin, leave me a crystal ball, leave me a, I don't know, a sword. Okay, you can leave me a sword as well. There's that sword energy repeatedly showing up. If you've reached this part of this reading, helps me know which pile you picked up, helps other people know who all are in there. Wow, look at that. We talked about money so much. Prosperity lies ahead. Stock market investments or financial education. Okay. Learning about, I'm not saying go invest. I'm saying learn about it. Okay. Uh, don't take pride. Don't let pride get into your way. The new moon in Taurus happens in the month of May, typically. So that's a timeline of a month. Full moon in Leo happens in the month of February. Okay. Um, see, pride again brings me back to that devil energy. Are you allowing your ego to hold you back from learning something new? This pile literally can learn something new in the next 100 days. But if you're trying to be perfect within the get go of it, you may actually be self sabotaging yourself, right? Uh, let us get you one more card pile number once. I hope you've left me a witch emoji there. Okay, whichever is your favorite autumn. You can leave me an autumn leaf as well. Wow, I am literally shooting this on a new moon in eclipse. You cannot get more clear messages to claim a reading than this pile once. Today is October 25th and it is a solar eclipse in the zodiac sign of um, Scorpio. So from wherever you're watching this, since I said it is a 
timeless reading, the next eclipse, all of this would have manifested for you. I hope you found clarity. I hope you found resonance. I hope I inspired you to take action in the right sense. And if it did resonate with you, do share it with your friends and family. Hit that like button now. Hit that like button now. Uh, and hit that subscribe button. I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful next 100 days. And I'll see you in your next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello and welcome pile number two. So those of you who picked paralyzed, there's clearly a lot of orange here, which makes me think of the solar chakra. Sorry. Wow, I wanted to say sacral. I said solar. Uh, okay. Um, sacral chakra, which talks about creativity, passion, sexuality. Um, it talks about bringing something to life and also working with your uh, sexual wounds or sexual trauma. Okay. We'll see if that comes up for you guys, but that color definitely makes me think of that. First of all, we're going to start off with the Oracle decks here today. If you haven't yet seen the 2023 readings I've already put up in the Timeless Readings playlist, Please don't skip that. Once you're done watching this video, you will find it in the description box below. Go watch it. I'm very sure for pile number twos, you will find a specific message in the 2023 readings, which will truly help you. Okay. Now let's look at this. This is a timeless reading for the next hundred days. Hold on. Something's already flipped over for you. And I will take it. Lavender, surround yourself with love. The number 19. I don't know why I feel for this pile. The energy has completely changed from pile one. There's some sort of a pain, either physical pain or emotional pain that you guys are really struggling to get over. You know, all of us have pains. I'm not going to like, uh, but this pile is like literally trying to work around something and is unable to do so. And that's kind of troubling you a lot. Don't worry if you feel like the light is a lot. When I talk about the cards, we will pull them together. Okay. Otherwise, if I reduce the light, then it gets really dark. And I'm not somebody who's good at videos. If you guys already know that about me. Okay. I hope everybody here gets tuned into the tarot messages because that's the part I'm focused on most. Okay. All right. Um, what do we need to know for the next hundred days? Okay. We have wings. This card's come out after a very long time. Okay. It's almost like I'm feeling like you're struggling with something that you're going to get free from. There's a karmic clearance that you're going through and you're going to get some information in the next hundred days. Some of you literally need body positivity, which could be another thing that you guys are struggling with. I don't know for why for this file, physical um, aspect is really coming up uh, in different ways. Okay. What do we need to know for pile number two? What do we need to know? Some of you may have gained weight or lost weight in the past hundred days and it really troubles you a lot. Um, and you're, you're kind of stressed out about it. Clover, release your guilt, number 21, which adds up to number three. Hmm. Very specific message, but some of you may have lost a dear one in the next in, in in the past one year and that kind of still hangs on to you and you don't realize it and by lose I don't mean like they just died you know it could be like you had a breakup and that made you feel terrible and now you kind of keep tripping over it hold on I just realized this will confuse people so okay here you go okay I want to take one more card for you guys what do we need to know for the next hundred days We have sundress, do it for you, love this. Okay, the first message that I definitely want to talk about, look at that orange again back for you, huh? Uh, I've never picked this card, confidence. It comes with time and practice, number 23. Have to talk about it. First of all, pile number twos. I want you to say this out loud and say this as many times as you need to. You are unique and you're good enough. So I want you to say, I am unique and I'm good enough. I'll say that again. I am unique and I am good enough. One more time. Type it in the comment section below. I am unique and I am good enough. Some of you for a very, very long time have been constantly compared. I literally feel that heavy energy. Like as a child, your beauty, your features, your way of talking, the way you sit, the what you wear, what you don't wear. It's always been a topic of discussion and it's kind of led for you to overthink everything that you do or you don't do okay so the first message i clearly want to tell pile number two is we are not going to be same that's the point of beauty um i love beauty i really care about beauty but what i do want you guys to understand is that i've seen the most uh how do i explain it the most non-conventional looking people Okay, especially if you've seen this with men, I don't know why we women struggle with this so much. I mean, I do know it's the society, but you've seen often in men, right? Like not every man has those best features, but they're not very 
they, they still look so charming and confident and great because somehow the society is a slightly more harsher i feel when it comes to a female i'm not saying it's not easy for a man i'm sorry i'm not saying it's easy for a man don't take it in the other sense but i feel like we women also over pressurize ourselves when it comes to our appearances okay wherein a man is perhaps more focused on his money or his success somehow the the traditional society has always pressurized girls to look a certain way right i strongly feel here some of you may have in gained weight which is a clear concern for you and in the next 100 days what you do learn to address is first of all i'm not saying you're not going to lose weight but before losing weight comes the acceptance that this is something that you trying to work around and it's not your identity you know it's not something like you have to get so focused on that it that's the only thing i've seen some people in their weight loss journey uh, all the way from the time they wake up to the time they go to bed all they're thinking is calories what did they eat what did they not eat and sometimes i'm feeling like isn't that stress in itself causing you to gain more weight some of you in the next 100 days will discover and i'm i'm not the kind of tarot reader who will ever give you something sugar coated i hope this doesn't happen to you but if it happens to you i've got to give you the message that i give you do have certain hormonal issues that may come up uh, go get yourself checked i'm not a medical practitioner but i'm do getting i'm i do get that feeling like you know it could be thyroid it could be pcod and once you identify what the problem is you will be able to work around it better some of you feel like as if you're in denial that there's no medical problem and you're kind of delaying it you would actually be at a better place once you just deal with it just get yourself checked right and there's nothing most most of the things there is a lot of things most of the things in medical science now through medicine through alternative healing through so many ways you know it can be worked around you don't have to it's almost like you've you've gotten into this trap of you trying to heal something on your own but you're unable to do it and that gives you more anxiety and that creates more troubles i'm just talking weight it could be anything it could be hair loss it could be um, it clearly is something to do with physical appearance i don't feel like this is something to do with like a serious uh, i mean physical appearance is serious what i'm trying to say is it's not something which um it's not a problem which affects other parts of you rather than your confidence or your looks that's what i'm trying to say okay uh you will okay somebody in your life okay is clearly good at dealing with um or their food habits or how they okay let me explain this i picked up the habit of drinking green tea because i had a friend who loves drinking green tea okay and i did not like drinking green tea um but Uh, my doctor and i love drinking the normal tea okay the chai the milk tea and when my doctor said that my acne is related to it i had to look for an alternative and i was like this girl is so happy with this lavender tree tea and this tea and that tea let me give it a shot okay and i ordered something online and i have never looked back i i mean i can't go to bed without a chamomile tea now i love it so much and somebody in your life has these small habits okay which are very healthy which they perhaps have also suggested to you but for whatever reason either you've not paid attention to that conversation now these don't have to be only food habits these could be like they journal or this could be like they have a gratitude list this could be like somebody telling you uh, hey why don't you uh, spend more time gardening this could be any anything right and wow i literally had a hiccup out of nowhere uh, you're struggling with this pile i really feel like a, my the pit of my stomach is feeling different my body sits different and i'm a clairsentient for those of you who don't know so i notice how my body feels when i'm doing a reading i am suddenly in pain and i was absolutely fine a little while ago and i feel like this pain is coming more from the emotional ecosystem rather than you know like hmm okay just give me a minute i want to tap into this Okay, I'm going to give a triggering message. Wow, this didn't come in, but I'm going to give you a triggering message. Aging is a part of our you know like how do I explain this? Obviously, we're going to all age, we're all going to die. We're not going to look the same as we looked at the age of 16. There's a fine balance to maintain when we are trying to be healthy, we're trying to look good versus us trying to like deny aging. at the same time you can't become this person who has become so comfortable with the fact or has gone so it's not even comfort it's like denial you know i am let's say 45 
so i expect myself to go through a menopause so i really don't even try for example to eat right or to do things right to deal with my menopause better you know something like that i'm i'm uh, i'm trying to give an example of you know like a, a female one it could be a, a, around anything but the message here is of number one of denial number two of are you in denial because you're scared that you're going to get into i mean, can literally see a girl who's like scared of getting into a health regime because she already thinks that she's going to fail and she can't deal with the failure of failing on that diet and then what so she's not starting that diet okay uh connecting with the herb lavender of course will help you because i feel like you guys have a lot of uh, self fulfilling or you know like self fulfilling prophecy like i know i'm not going to be good at it so i don't even try it and in the next 100 days you're going to have an opportunity to overcome it to break through this mindset and literally fly out but i also want to repeatedly highlight guys you cannot take a step to heal or fix something before you accept what it is without judging it without hating it without being triggered by it without feeling like if you can't fix it you're not good enough you know what i mean like to fix anything we have to first be okay with even if it i fail it is okay okay i hope i'm making sense all right with this card i definitely want to talk about there is a lucky break coming your way guys okay and look at the number of orange here we again have you may want to work with the color orange for sure um if you get a chance okay to accept things that you have done wrong accept it okay don't like kind of go in a dilemma because i feel like somebody wants to come up to you have a conversation and try to explain what is really going on in their relationship with you and even though you know at the bottom of your heart that this is true but you you're like god this is going to be so difficult to deal with once i accept it so i don't want to talk about it okay and don't do this for them this is what i brings me to this do it for yourself do it because it will set you free do it because you will grow do it because i didn't even notice we talked about body pose i really didn't notice but this card has you know i'm forgetting the name what is the name of uh, the skin condition with the word v damn vertigo i don't want to say it wrong let me know what it's called the skin condition i have a friend who had it and oh my god the her confidence okay this is all about confidence guys this pile in the next 100 days gets opportunities to experience true confidence and uh, people who know me often call me a very confident person and whenever they do i tell them it is all about facing what freaking scares you you cannot be confident without being scared the whole concept of confidence comes from when you're really really scared and you're doing something still that's when you actually tap into confidence so don't allow your fears to paralyze you you literally pick the card of paralyze your body does not define you but ignoring your body going in denial around your body is equally bad okay is equally unhealthy for you um in all aspects or in all spectrum okay hold on i'm trying to see what's up with my light and why is it acting that way okay hopefully it should be better now wow that's a lot of messages given around body positivity and breaking through something okay while i've extensively spoken about body this could be even just your voice this could be your way of walking this could be your educational qualification i've used body because i'm constantly feeling like this is something to do about body it could be something else for you of course i'm going to move towards the tarot cards and see what's happening in the next 100 days you're dealing with this and i think you can break through this is all i'm trying to try to tell you here uh, in the next 100 days pile twos and i want you to understand that you're not alone in this journey is another message i want to really give you okay uh, all of us in some form or other have dealt with it we deal with it differently i loved how i was watching a video about grief i recently lost uh, my eldest uh, dog and i'm watching a lot of videos around grief and i love how in the video i was thinking like you know how unique human emotions are we experience it uniquely and differently but we all experience it same nonetheless okay and i don't know why i wanted to tell you guys this that it it is very similar for everybody you just don't see it perhaps in the same way how they are struggling with it okay what do we need to know in the next 100 days wow i really felt heavy with that hydration is of course another message i want to give you guys and i want to have a sip of water because suddenly i felt like i am so drained meanwhile wow five of wands see comparison competition hold on let me sing drink water okay comparison competition in a conflict 
I want to do this, but I don't know how to do this. So, oh my, too many cooks spoil the broth. Trying too many diets, but then not sticking to anything. Seven of Swords. You know, I am still amazed. I'm doing this for years, but I'm still amazed how the Oracle and the Tarot come out exactly in sync. Like, you know, we could have got like some crazy different cards with between the Oracle and this. But look at this. Five of Wands, Seven of Swords. There's an inner deceit, a deceit. A denial which we've talked about extensively let's see tower Scorpio season that see look at that tower here and that tower here you're getting a breakthrough here guys a massive breakthrough from a lot of self-sabotage and a lot of deceit that you've been you know you're, you've got stuck into and you get that chance universe steps in and gives you that chance to get out of that and get to a better place okay we did have the card of you know luck here hence Four of Pentacles, stop holding yourself back. Believe in yourself. Look at that intuition looking out and knowing there is. Look at the amount of windows. Some of you really need to sit near a window as well. And that itself could be very healing for you. I have a friend who really loves windows. So maybe that's you. And uh, yeah, windows is another message. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, this will demand hard work. This will demand commitment. This demands working on yourself. And you're worthy of it. I mean, nothing in life is more important than self-work right? You got to live with you. Don't do this for others. Do it for you. Again, going back to do it for you. Okay. I want you guys to write that message though. I am unique and I am enough. Okay. You do matter. And somewhere you've got into that zone of it doesn't matter. Nobody's looking, but you're constantly self judging yourself either for your money or for your looks. Wow. 10 of cups. I feel like again, this brings me back to that family pressure. It feels like there's somebody in your family or there's been a toxic family member who constantly reminds you of what is not good about you. Cut them away and ask yourself what kind of people would you like to be around. Okay. I think I give pile one seven cards. Okay. We have the wheel of fortune. See, I'm repeatedly trying to say this. You're getting a breakthrough. A rare breakthrough to get to a massive quantum leap. And if you can tap into that energy, if you're ready to commit yourself to it, you will not. It's literally like a makeover. The moment you decide, okay, it's literally like a makeover from this to this. Look at the positivity here. You know, from five of wands, the reading ends at a wheel of fortune with the ten of cups and eight of pentacles being the center from the four of pentacles, which is like instead of holding yourself back, being grateful for your body, being grateful for what you hold, being grateful for the money you've already earned and then taking that leap forward and doing that hard work. The next hundred days professionally will demand a lot of focus, a lot of hard work, a lot of breaking through or breaking away from a lot of self-deceit that you sell yourself, being focused for the right reasons and thereby getting that breakthrough. Some of you may be traveling with your family in the next hundred days. Okay. And it, it's going to be bring that fun element into your life. That's another message for you. Pile number twos. A year from now, while I'm doing this 100 days reading, Wheel of Fortune often talks about a year. A year from now, if you can do the dedicated work for yourself, not for other people, you would not be recognizable to many people, whether it's your inner confidence, whether it's your finances, whether it's your, you know, how you look. You just got to believe in that vision, pile number twos. Your message is very simple. Just believe in the vision. Get out of your self-denial. Accept what, where you are, love yourself for what you are, and then chase the vision that you want to chase and don't quit on yourself. If you fall off the wagon two days, get back on the wagon and get back on the track. It's absolutely natural for any of us to go through that off mood, but this also demands resilience. I do have that strong Scorpio energy with the ace, of, sorry, the wheel of fortune and the tower. Wheel of fortune also talks about um, the four fixed signs. Okay, so uh, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus. Don't lie to yourself and allow yourself to be held back is a repeated message. I, want to, I don't think this is an external lie. It's definitely an internal lie. Uh, you short sell yourself in certain circumstances because you know that this will demand a lot of work. I literally don't want to call you out like that, but there's a sense of laziness which brings you down to like, never mind, nobody's looking at me. Never mind, I don't matter. Never mind, this is too hard. Never mind, it's not going to happen for me. But actually, the reason is that either you're scared of that rejection or that failure, so you don't even start. Or uh, you just, you know, sometimes we're just plain simple lazy and we don't understand this is how badly it can affect us. Okay. Those of you who are working on a relationship, okay, the current one, if you know that there are bad signs, this does not make you feel confident. It is going to break away, but there is an opportunity to work on yourself and work towards a better relationship in the year's time. 
okay i'm going to move towards i don't know why but for your reading i feel like this is it this is all you need to know this is all that you need to work on i don't want to go zigzag and give you 25 messages i hope you've taken the crux out of it um acceptance is the main message here okay and then hard work is the second message here for the next 100 days let's see what cards come up for you from the moonology deck file twos okay we have Full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. Aries does talk about again that energy of taking action. Okay, full moon in Aries happens in the month of October, so it's a timeless reading. Whenever you're watching it, whenever is the next October? If you're watching it while I post it, October would be exactly a year from now. I clearly see things totally different for you guys a year from now. Okay, of course, provided you do take the action. adjustments are required third moon quarter you're manifesting something but i feel like you know it's almost like somebody really wants something but then when it's right around the corner they backtrack because they're indecisive about it because they're lacking that confidence and that's the adjustment you require and there's tremendously beautiful blessings for you wow full moon in libra which is april a win win outcome is forecast that libra aries axis is clearly indicated um in vedic astrology i think this is also the axis on which uh, north node and south nodes are um currently transiting so check where your zodiac placements lies in between aries and libra what houses are ruled by it because those are the houses you you can be going through tremendous inner transformation okay i wish you guys the confidence that you definitely deserve that you definitely have we all are confident people if you've liked it if this resonated with you if this sounds like your journey i wish you success don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button i hope you've left that claiming comment of i am unique and i am enough i love you take care bye bye hello and welcome my beloved pile threes those of you who picked this card which is reject um If you haven't yet seen the timeless readings playlist on this channel please don't forget to click on that and I'm pretty sure you will find the guidance for you there over and above everything that we're going to do here in that 100 days reading okay on those of you who like to know my pile selections my main selection was pile number 1 which i absolutely loved and now we're going to look at what is the next 100 days and this was my secondary selection of course you may feel drawn to more than one pile i've said it repeatedly it's a general reading if you also were drawn to 1 and 3 that's just an additional confirmation that as energetically i did find a con you know a pull between 1 and 3 coming together okay let's give it a good shuffle and what can we expect in the next 100 days for pile number 3s i was again going to say pile number 1 and i remember in pile number 3 1 i was going to say 3 again and again okay so 1 and 3 may be connected i'm again saying if you were drawn to it you may want to listen to that what can we expect in the next 100 days for pile number 3 thank you spirit what can we expect in the next 100 days for pile number 3 thank you spirit okay one more sh is what i'm going for okay oh we have more Some of you may be recently interested in painting or painting could be one of your skills. Oh. Ho oh, ho, okay. Uh every cup I'll got four cards from this deck, but we clearly got five for you accidentally. Morning. The world awaits you. Love this. I'm tapping into that energy of Pisces here, definitely with the fishes. Dreams and your dreams could be super prophetic. Depth of something is important here, okay? I'm getting so many messages just from that card, but hold on. sometimes i get just on and on about one card so let's just get to the wow we again have another fish shark swim away from the situation and number 35 we have evil queen you deserve sugar not salt number 2 okay very uh, funny this actually had that one pile one had bitch fire so if you're coming from one i hope you can see the hands also very similar okay Linus number 14 look at the number of fishes what's with fishes some of you are literally being drawn to fishes a draw fish help fishes help marine life i mean oh my god that's a lot of fishes and fishes do talk about abundance for sure and we have wow we had this card in pile 2 as well so if you're coming from 2 i feel like 2 or 3 is a progression of 2 okay first thing i want to tell you guys is in the next 100 days Do you see this symbol? It's literally the evil eye. Use it. I think I have it here as well. Yeah. Use it. Cleanse yourself. I think let's start talking. 
you have a new morning coming your way you have a new sunrise happening for you you have abundance coming for you with the amount of fishes here whenever people rise okay financially emotionally um physically like you know you look beautiful you get more money you become more successful good things happening to you you'll always see while there's a lot of blessings you're experiencing you will also attract a lot of energy vampire a lot of sharks right uh, and i feel like in the next 100 days for some of you this has already started okay when you come into this reading this has already started you're already on that uphill swing or things are working out for you i love saying that thing okay things everything is always working out for me okay it's a very it's a very positive affirmation i like to work with uh, and things are working out for you you're becoming a better person it's your day i'm repeatedly challenging the message in the next 100 days every day will feel like this is my day i'm going to kill it okay and you're in that joyous space you're in that space when you look at that progression happening between 40 to 41 okay you're growing you do not wait for other people's validation you love your journey you're doing everything for yourself and other people can see this now some people will be very triggered because they are not at that journey okay they are not feeling that emotion and that's why i want to bring you first to that evil eye some of you may literally be and i say this with very much caution i'm not somebody if you've seen my readings i don't usually say this lightly somebody may actually have been trying to cast a spell on you okay or trying to like wish you bad or think negative things about you okay i don't want you to start worrying about it i instead want you to do one simple basic remedy at least twice a week take a salt bath that's all you need take a salt bath okay You need to constantly be aware that people are sending you negative energy as you keep rising in the next hundred days. And if you focus on keeping yourself protected, use a black tourmaline, wash yourself with salt. I mean, take a salt bath, a sage, and smudge your space regularly and consistently. These are some basic and tiny things that you just need to adhere to. And I think you're supremely protected. In the next hundred days, somebody will come to you with a get-rich scheme. I feel this is more financial than anything else, and they'll be like, "I can help you. I have a great career plan for you. I know you deserve better." That Saturn energy coming in as a karma message here. Some of you could be going through your Saturn return. Some of you could be going through that Sare Sati phase. Um, if any of you are Aquarius Moon, take this as a double confirmation. Um, and the number eight does also talk about karma. If somebody comes to you with this, I know how to do things. I will make this so easy for you. i just know how to make a shortcut money route avoid shortcut money routes okay um if you're watching this when i post it it's a timeless reading of course but if you're watching this when i post it it's an eclipse season a lot of darker sides also come out of people so be mindful of somebody just trying to sell you you know sun moon and stars especially related to money okay for some of you this could be an elder brother i don't know why i channel this message but this could be some of you an elder brother okay Here I want you to focus on her scars. Do you see the stretch marks on her body? I don't think the lighting will show you, but there are stretch marks on her body. Okay? Some of you may actually be healing, which is why I said like it seems like a progression from 2 to 3 if you've come from pile 2 to pile 3. Uh there has been certain things about your physicality that you've struggled with and you've come out stronger, you've come out better. You now a more confident place, you now look good, you feel good and you no longer self reject yourself and other people can see it. Proud of you darlings. Um some of you could be a Leo. This also talks about confidence. This also talks about some of you maybe getting a haircut by the way. I don't know why I In the next 100 days if you're planning a haircut go for it just go for it it will change your energy tremendously okay you are also going to get connected to very strong and confident and independent souls who will inspire you more okay while you do have this shark energy i feel more than sharks you actually get lionesses in your life who are go getters who know that the sun rises for them some of you if you're not somebody who has any morning routine at all please develop one that is the number one thing that you should take away from this message that you need to develop a morning morning routine how do you start your day do you start your day with gratitude do you start your day in a positive mindset because it will have a tremendous impact in the entire day for you so take control of your mornings okay that's a message for you pile number 3 please try to take control of your mornings work with the color white work with the color blue work with fishes donate for the marine life folk you know some of you may actually go scuba diving i don't know why i saw that message here but yeah scuba diving is a message that came up let me move to my favorite part which is of course always the tarot the using the using the everyday witch in case you any of you would like a personal reading i feel like some of you guys who speak this pile have been considering tarot pile for a personal reading if i just 
read your mind hey <laughs> and you can send me an email there is a discount coming up which i will be launching on the instagram channel so you can follow me there and you'll get to know those details i literally felt like somebody's watching this and thinking i have been thinking of getting a reading from this girl for so long and i'm not but yeah that's just an additional confirmation for you okay um uh, what do we need to know for the next 100 days for pile number 3 what do we need to know for the next 100 days okay we have 10 of cups which is the first card out family contentment spending time with family going out on a vacation with family uh, and family could of course be blood relatives could be other people we have king of cups emotionality is really coming up strong again fishes what's with fishes i want you guys to leave me a fish emoji now on that comment section below and claim the amount of abundance this file has oh my god i'm so excited for myself as well dolphins also talk to me somewhere about intelligence emotional intelligence you're becoming more emotionally matured to deal with certain things that used to perhaps trigger you or where you used to get lost in other people's drama seven of cups there's clearly a confusion and i feel like that confusion you're making the right decision using that king of cups energy okay strong water signs energy pisces scorpio cancer these months coming up would be very relevant for you the people with these zodiac placements would be very important for you okay wow we have the wheel of fortune which does talk about the tables turning your way darlings those are two cards repeat from pile actually three from pile uh, number 2 and one card from pile number 1 hermit the energy of wisdom i feel like this is all to do with emotional maturity emotional growing up uh, knowing what to say when to say how to say it that's the kind of skill set that this pile is clearly developing in the next 100 days uh, some of you may actually within the next year meet a spiritual guru who will be like your uh, i channel the word margdarshak in hindi which is like somebody who gives you direction throughout your life and you you're connecting to a very spiritually ascended master some of you may actually meet them in physicality some of you may connect to someone's principles and feel like this really connects to me okay um check uh your heart chakra is one thing i definitely want to say some somehow like my heart ow something's hurting in my uh, upper part of the neck so yeah something to do with how you speak and how connected do you feel at your heart okay uh, when you're saying what you're saying i want to get you guys we have four cards here we have five we can get two more what can we expect in the next so those of you who are trying to start a family the next 100 days are definitely positive and you may i don't know this is a very funny message sometimes spirits make me hear such weird things have sex in the morning and you may actually conceive Okay, those of you who are trying to try for a baby okay wow thanks for it weird messages okay uh we have the queen of pentacles the money this combination is deadly guys the king of cups which is the water energy and the queen of pentacles now we have equal water and earth here okay so taurus virgo capricorn uh, pisces scorpio cancer these could be the months relevant these could be energies you're trying to tap into this is the kind of mindset that you're also being pushed towards control of your morning again comes back with the queen of pentacles it will tremendously benefit you professionally gain more respect okay uh, i don't know why i channel this for somebody don't miss out your morning calls don't miss out on your um just be someone who's seen more available okay available at the right opportunity showing up and knowing how to deal this is about understanding people this could be understanding your family members this could be understanding your professional setup but connecting to people at an emotional level and delivering to their emotional needs first before delivering to their financial needs okay one more card please what can we expect we have the 7 of pentacles the next 100 days will demand patience and i think you have it you will grow it and you will be surprised how emotionally patient you've been wow resilience um you've been with your family members with your targets with your goals how you're taking it one step at a time how you're not hopefully you will hopefully you will remember this reading as well and you will take that one step at a time approach money will grow don't change your investment plans too much in the next 100 days okay make a plan and then stick with it for a year if you started something 7 months ago financially as an investment give it one more year before you kind of make a decision around it we do have the two sevens which brings me to spirituality you some of you could be seeing the angel number 777 or 1717 specifically if you did that's just an additional confirmation that this reading is definitely for you okay 
there is an inheritance that you may also received from a family member uh, which is like a property dispute going your way somebody leaving you something big or small um, as a part of your inheritance it could be coming from a female figure but does not necessarily have to okay in the next 100 days you will have expert guidance wherever you seek it or wherever you ask for it so instead of trying to choose in a rush or choose from a place of emotion emotionality take a step back spend some time meditating on what your answer is and then go out and seek the expert advice consider the expert advice before you just go you know bombasting into that decision okay the wheels will turn in your favor in a year financially so stay resilient stay focused take control of your mornings is something i again want to tell this pile okay emotional maturity is what is i see rising which of course leads to better relationships for you these could be better relationship with your mother this could be better relationship overall as with you know your friends your family your uh, your loved ones overall there is a better relationship i again want to draw your attention to the evil eye because it constantly is calling to me so while all these good things happen for you remember that there are people who are energetically sending you negativity so you need to keep yourself protected otherwise you again lose that lose that momentum is what i'm trying to get to okay let's get to some moonology decks for pile number 3 and see what's coming up some of you may actually be adopting a cat in the next 100 days if you get a cat who seeks your help help the cat Okay. it will help your karma tremendously it will help you bring in abundance so cats and fishes are animal okay you know what it could be just you developing a compassion for animals water signs are extremely compassionate people at least their core skill strengths are supposed to be that so develop an emotional connect and a compassion for animals okay a time for healing love this last mic moon some of you actually water is healing water meditations um connecting to the energy of water and healing is coming your way pile number 3 i do not need to overread this but healing is definitely coming your way in the next 100 days full moon in gemini the answers you need are coming again i want to draw this pile to att attention and focus i didn't want to say attention and focus i actually wanted to say patience i don't know why those words literally just came out on autopilot so attention and focus could be the uh, the message spirit wants to give you as well apart from patience attention focus patience okay those are the three words you need to know and you need to remember when you communicate what you want to say are you being emotionally wise okay gemini is have a problem i don't want to call it a problem sorry uh to most people it will seem a problem but it is not really a problem it's just a trait they are over animated right i have a gemini best friend i love her but she doesn't sometimes realize that people are making judgments or or perceiving things before she's actually even articulate the, the whole thing and then they don't allow her space to speak because she's so animated her face has spoken like 29 sentences while she's still on the second one right uh, this can sometimes create a conflict situation for you this can create confusion seven of cups is emotional confusion as well okay so when the gemini card shows up make sure that that you're keeping yourself that calm and grounded that queen of pentacles energy the thought through way of articulating something instead of just going you know like your face is talking so much that it distracts you even in a presentation have you noticed those guys like you can't focus on the content because while they are very entertaining you don't really know what the presentation was all about because there was just so much animation happening on the face okay it becomes distracting um, but yes there are certain answers coming there's education for this pile in the next 100 days as well so if you're planning a higher education you want to sign up for a higher education uh, it can really work out well for you pile number 3 okay i think i did say that at the very beginning i'm very sure but if i didn't go watch pile number 1 if you were drawn to it okay don't let the past hold you back hmm this is a very different message from everything else we've read someone may come with to you with an apology if they do accept it i'm not saying like you got to get them back into your life i'm not saying like you got to but don't let someone's past karmas hold you back from giving yourself that freedom of that karmic bond okay so if somebody gives you a sorry genuinely accept it and try to genuinely forgive the person okay some of you are being called to like collect postcards i don't know i i get such random messages and i'm pretty sure every tarot reader does but i don't know what's with postcards i just suddenly saw somebody collecting postcards so if you are someone who likes postcards or have been thinking about postcards 
uh, you may want to collect postcards okay and that will bring you some inspiration some healing for some of you it may actually turn into a business for some way or another if you found resonance inspiration guidance from this reading i've loved doing this as much as you did i hope you've left me the fish emoji and claimed the financial abundance coming for you guys i hope you don't miss out on the timeless tarot readings playlist share this with your friends and family if it helped you stay focused have patience and i'll see you in your next reading take care bye bye